Today we're going to be making canary milk from canary seeds. Would you believe it? You can drink a milk made from canary seeds. Okay, five spoons of the canary seed into the jar. There we go. Tablespoon canary seed topped up with water. Water supply doesn't matter. Welcome to another episode of The Art Patient. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe the videos and interact guys. That's what it's all about. Getting healthy. Welcome to the channel. As you know, I like to do lots of superfoods. But during my research on health, I often come across what can be called third world cures. And this one today is a third world cure. It originates in Mexico and it's called canary milk or alpista. Now alpista you can buy already prepared in South American countries and Mexico where I think, think guys, it originated. Now it started off as a cure for, am I allowed to say the word cure? Um, it started off as a cure for diabetes, type 2 of course, okay? Now I do talk about these kind of things, diabetes type 2. I have done previous videos on it, how to eradicate it. And um, I, unfort I fortunately for myself don't have type 2 and never have because I'm a superfoodist and a raw foodist. But this may be worth looking into for yourself if you're suffering with type 2 diabetes. Okay. I don't want this to be about type 2 diabetes, but they do use it in South America as a cure. And they do say it takes about 3 or 4 weeks. With the protocols of course in place of eradicating sugar, and like I told you about uh, wheat, you must eradicate wheat from your diet if you're going to be successful with type 2 diabetes. Okay? But one of the beauties, and uh, these are the these are the canary seeds. Now this is just regular canary seed, guys. This is the idea. This one is all a poor man's cure. This one has been soaked overnight, so we're going to get rid of the water, right? Because when you soak the seed, it starts to spread. Okay? Then it has a lot of enzymatic action. Now, as you can see, it's just regular canary seed so I got experimenting with it when I came across it because as you know I don't talk about stuff that I generally don't do okay or get involved in I like to get involved in experimentation and see if there's any side effects I myself have been doing this for three weeks now and I've had absolutely no side effects but like I say I'm not type 2 diabetic, so I can't speak about that. That's all I can say, okay? Um, one of the reasons it is effective, okay, is because of the... When you soak the seeds, you release a massive amount of enzymatic action. Now, I've spoken before about enzymes and how important they are on the channel. And an enzyme brings about a reaction, okay? I've spoken many times about enzymes and how enzymes bring about reactions but do not get involved in the action okay so we're going to drain this one off and make the milk drain the water off I left the water in there 24 hours, it can be 48 hours. Oh, I've got another one to go here. That one will go back in the fridge. 
the seeds will bring about a start to sprout soon. And I've been making it with three jars. I've been making it with two jars of distilled water. I added five spoons of seed to that size jar. Now all we're going to do is blend it up. flavour this with some vanilla. I've got a vanilla pod here and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop the vanilla pod in to flavour it. We're going to strain it first. There's a vanilla pod. Oh, what a lovely smell. I'm just going to cook the vanilla pod. I'm going to throw that in the blender after we've strained it. So I'll just blend that again. So we blended that up. Now you can drink this, you, do you know guys, you can drink this with all the uh, fibre in it, it wouldn't hurt you, in fact it cleans your intestines out, we've even drunk it with the fibre in, but I am going to, uh, run it through a strainer to get rid of the fibre. You can do this with a nut bag if you've got one. I used to have one, but I haven't used it in ages. Don't know where it's gone. Okay, I've strained it, and as you can see, strained it. As you can see, we've got all the. Uh, husks of fiber out of the seed okay that's the bit you don't want but like i say you can drink this and it will clean your intestines out absolutely no worries and it the uh, canary seed is fit for human consumption guys so i don't want you to think it's not it is fit for human consumption Get rid of the husk and the fibre, and back in it goes. Okay, back in it goes. Okay, and now we're going to pop in, right, the vanilla pod. Boom. Uh, 
There we go. Canary milk. Now, this is very, very similar. Canary milk with an hint of vanilla. That's a beautiful drink, actually. And although it's going slightly warm because of the blender, if you put it in the fridge, it's a beautiful. Well, that's a very, very nice. It, if you've never drunk, it, it put you in mind of nut milks. It's very similar to almond milk, but obviously, I just dropped some vanilla in. Now you can either throw the pod in or you can scrape it out like some of the chefs do. It's irrelevant. It just gives it a nice taste, a nice vanilla taste. It's very high. Okay, the nutrient benefits. It's high in amino acids, so it's high in protein, guys. Right, all jokes aside, um, they are fit for human consumption. Make sure you've just got canary seed, you don't want anything else, okay? In uh, third world countries, it's known as Alpista, and you can actually buy the product ready to go as a powder. I don't think, I think you defeat the object because what you want is the enzymatic action. It's high in lipase. Now, lipase is an enzyme that breaks down fats. So you're going to clean the liver. It's a great liver cleanser. That might be one of the reasons why it's so good at lowering insulin resistance in type 2 diabetics. That might be one of the reasons. It's very high in the enzymatic action of the lipase. Okay? It's high in amino acids, which is I, 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 I found out about this as like a, I wanted to find out uh, if it was a poor man's protein, and it certainly is. So it's a great drink after you've actually worked out, right? Because it's got a nice spectrum of amino acids. It's also very high in enzymes and bringing about actions like cleaning the colon okay absolutely lovely drink okay uh, who'd have thought it alpista or canary milk um mm, very nice that one very nice like i say i've been using it for three weeks now um, unfor well, fortunately for me, I'm not type 2 diabetes, diabetic, so I can't tell you whether it can, you know, but there's a lot of people out there in Mexico and in Peru and South America using this very drink. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Until the next video, thanks ever so much and... There you go.